Does this sound familiar to you? Say you want to learn React. You go to YouTube and try to follow a tutorial. You feel you are learning something. You completed one tutorial and try to do the other one. You feel you got the basics and trying to build the projects on your own now. And you know what happened? You try to write a simple function and you just simply couldn't figure out what to do. You go blank. How can you forget those basic building blocks of that programming language? If you're following this routine or strategy to learn how to code, you need to stop right now because I have found a way of learning to code which will literally 10x your speed and not only that, you'll be able to retain and remember everything you do. What we are aiming is peak performance here. So Dr. Anders Ericsson wrote this book called Peak and in this book, he created a term purposeful practice. So purposeful practice is focused. It is all about bunch of baby steps together to reach a long-term goal. So first try to understand this. The reason you are not able to remember those concepts because you try to store them in your short-term memory. And the problem with that is your brain has strict limit on how much it can hold in your short-term memory at a time. So step number one is to make coding your second nature. Rather than practicing DSA or learning React weekly, try to make it daily. I'm just giving you example. You can apply that technique to anything. That's the beauty. This is called purposeful practice. So Dr. Anders Ericsson spent 30 years studying high performers and he surely does know how can someone attain that peak performance. And simply doing a thing for every day wouldn't be enough to get the results. We need to add second feature to our recipe, which is feedback. Now, if possible, you can take help of someone who can give you feedback on your progress. And but I know mostly cases you don't have that help. You don't have that teacher or that friend. Try to find someone like who may be like few steps ahead of you who can help you figuring out stuff and who can give you genuine feedback. And if you can't do that, you have to become your own teacher. You can either giving tests and checking time to time like how well you're learning. So break it down and make a plan. Say you want to learn React. How about following tutorial every day and at the end of the day, you will give yourself a simple test to check your knowledge. This will cover the feedback part. And how can you test that knowledge? You may be asking, well, you can go to ChatGPT and give and ask ChatGPT to give you three questions based on whatever learning you did. And based on that, you can try to solve those questions. If you want to practice more challenges like that, please subscribe to my newsletter where I'm sending coding challenges every week. Please find the link in the description below. Now let's move to third part, getting out of comfort zone. So just doing easy things won't cut it. You with time need to get out of your comfort zone. You have to challenge yourself. And when you feel like you are not able to understand anything, you need to take a step back and spend as much as time possible to learn it before you move to the next step. And even doing this wouldn't be enough to reach the peak performance. We need to move our next step, which is final step called deliberate practice. This is what brings the best out of the best. So when you go to gym, the next day you feel soreness. Your muscle aches and you kind of feel good about like you went to gym and you have that motivation. You did the hard work and now you can feel it. But this will not happen after doing a DSA or React tutorial, right? You won't feel that so soreness in your brain because you can't see your brain and you feel like like doesn't happen anything. So Dr. Erickson wrote in his book about that research which shows that People who follow the path of deliberate practice, they have more gray matter in their brain, which is responsible for memory formation and learning. So there's a general belief that a person, when they reach adulthood, the neuroplasticity decreases, meaning like it gets harder and harder to learn new things or new skills, which is actually wrong. So I have a question for you. How many push-ups you think you can do? Maybe 50, maybe 100 max. And you know what's the world record of doing the push-ups? It's actually 46,000 push-ups in 21 hours. Yes, with deliberate practice, even this is possible. And don't say that there's some humans who naturally born with the capability of doing 46,000 push-ups. There are none. This is only possible because of deliberate practice. And to attain that, you need to understand one important term, which is called homeostasis. I know I'm throwing you a bunch of definitions, but homeostasis can be defined as a tendency of a system to act in a way that maintains its own stability. So as I explained in the beginning of the video, our mind tends to stay in homeostasis. But when you stress the system with deliberate practice, it moves to a higher point. And as you keep pushing, it goes higher and higher. And there's just no physical limit to that. To just conclude our discussion here, 
The reason most people don't possess these extraordinary physical or mental capabilities is because they are satisfied to live in the comfortable place of homeostasis and never to do the work that is required to get out of it. They live in the world of good enough. So these suggestions are not only limited to coding. Anything you want to do in life, anything worth challenging, you can follow these steps. If you don't get this message first time, you can rewatch the video and make sure you are writing some notes down so that you don't forget them. And that's it from today's video. I'll see you next time in new video. Thanks a lot for watching.